evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a happy good evening to you, wherever you are. This is a show, and today's show is being brought to you by Rainbow, and Rainbow is good bread. All over town, we're hearing talk about Rose's Restaurant. Rose's Restaurant, located at 217 Northwest 23rd Street, is now open for business. Now that's Rose's Restaurant, 217 Northwest 23rd Street. It's open every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now let me tell you what's going to happen tomorrow. If you have any children under 8 years old, those children will be able to eat free tomorrow at Rose's Restaurant. And adults will have to pay. And I'm going to surprise you because I'm going to tell you that you can get all of the food you can eat for $4. And this is old-fashioned food. Cook with that spirit of the South. All at Rose's Restaurant, 217 Northwest, 23rd Street, here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And speaking of new businesses, there's a new business in Oklahoma City that's located at Northeast Apco, 3400 to North Kelly. Open every day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. The telephone number is 427-6139. Now, if you get stuck in the snow, you can call between 6 p.m. 427-6139. After 6 p.m., you may call 340-4879. It's open for business. That's the Northeast APCO with a certified mechanic on duty. Use tires, full service, a minor to major repairs, and they will give you free estimates. All labor is guaranteed. They do have 24-hour service calls. The owner is Mr. Abby Fitz, and it is a complete automatic repair shop. I call it, and you may call it, the car shop. All of your needs. That's the Northeast Apco. 3400 North Kelly here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. It's so great to, to be back in Oklahoma. Last week I had the opportunity to go to Midland, Texas to participate in the Martin Luther King celebration. It was quite an unusual experience. The Midland chapter of the NAACP in Midland, Texas presented in recognition of the holiday on last Saturday, Brother President, the story of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. This presentation, 2 p.m., one movie, and then the next showing was at 6 p.m. The reaction of the people in Midland, Texas, toward the movie was unbelievable. They could hardly believe that those were high school students that were playing those leading roles. That's, that was in Midland, Texas. In spite of the bad weather, a crowd came out. At 8 o'clock p.m., I had the opportunity to speak for the Midland chapter of NACP and formally install their office. It was quite an enriching. The fact that Martin Luther King had a dream that one nation, one day, this nation will live, the people in this nation will live where they will, where they will not to be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. And that was certainly in evidence in Midland, Texas, where blacks and whites, young and old, came together to celebrate the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Since the Martin Luther King birthday, I've never had the opportunity to go to school on that particular day. I talked to some of my black teachers in Oklahoma telling me they were going to school on King's birthday. I read in Dallas, Texas about the fact that in Oklahoma, in the state of Oklahoma, there were some little towns like Village, Nicholsville, Nicola Park, and others that were not going to close their post office and were not going to celebrate. Well, I have good news for the world. God stepped in and stopped everything for Martin Luther King's birthday. Black people and white people that plan to go to work, the snow say, tell them, this is King's birthday and you can't move your automobile. But next year, I think that the people in Oklahoma need to get together having a federal holiday, a state holiday, or a city holiday, or we are not. 
Somebody is going to have to speak out against those in Oklahoma that do not want to stop and will not stop to celebrate King's birthday. Well, God spoke this time, and even the big segregationist giants had to stop and celebrate Martin Luther King's birthday. Now, I don't know how you celebrated it, but I know one thing, that snow smoke and that snow saying, this is Martin Luther King's birthday. I had the opportunity to go into the Idabel area and show Brother President opportunity to sit down once again with my college classmates and with men and women in Idabel, Oklahoma that were working toward a better day. Once again there the movie received a grand reception. But probably history was changed for me. As I went to the Texarkana Federal Prison there, I saw a program unlike any other program that I had seen. There were ministers and choirs that had come into Texicana, federal prison, to present programs. And when I tell you there were some singing choirs, please believe me. I shall never forget the words of Reverend Lacey, a minister from Tyler, Texas, who spoke to the prisoners about what they can become. He told them how much Jesus loved them and how dark the day may be, but in spite of all, we shall overcome. At 1 p.m., we had the opportunity to look once again at the movie Brother Dr. King's birthday. This was a different type of look because we were surrounded with prisoners of all races, creeds, and colors. And certainly we were wondering what will be the reaction of these prisoners to the movie, Brother President. But we were headed for a big surprise. Nowhere in this country, and we've been given a warmer reception, nowhere in this country that we have shown Brother President that we have seen a more appreciative audience than we saw at the federal prison. In fact, after one of the wardens talking to the prisoners, and he said, uh, I thought you all were hard, had hard hearts. And when I looked and saw you crying during that movie, I knew that those young people from John Marshall High School in Oklahoma City had softened your hearts. And I wish the people in Oklahoma could have been there. Maybe Calvin, Looper, Shelley Looper, Alicia Hildred, Orlando's Cross of Texarkana, Texas, Reverend and Mrs. Swinton of Otterville to tell you the reaction far better than I. I want you to know what I saw, those people, those prisoners appreciated that film. In fact, they want us to come back. Among those that I saw, I saw Bobby Battles, and he told me to tell all of you hello, and certainly he is exemplifying leadership. And if you could have heard the prisoners talking about Martin Luther King, I think you would have been pleased. I had the opportunity to speak to the prisoners, and afterwards the thing that I enjoyed most was the fact that they were able to question me as to the things that were related, national, international, and racial. And I would like to say to those of you that have relatives in Texarkana, Texas, that I am bringing special hellos to all of you. This is the Clara Looper Radio Show, and back from the showing is Shelley Marie Looper Wilson with your sports report. Yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Shelly Marie Looper Wilson bringing you the basketball sports, sports score. Western Heights, East by Clinton, 63-60. Southeast dominated, Lost Heights, 70-60. Cricket of Demolished Blanchard, 77-43. Ardmore beat Dell City, 52-38. Capitol Hill defeated Alton, 65-53. Carl Albert over Stillwater, 48 to 37. 
Guthrie was defeated by John Marshall, 68-62. Putnam City beat Northeast, 66-51. And Millwood over Oak Muggy, 69-57. This was brought to you by Merlin Hildreth. Merlin sells home insurance, life insurance, and car insurance. You can contact us at 842-5232 at home or 751-8435 at the office. Thank you. Sunday, and certainly that's tomorrow, according to Reverend Debbie B. Parker, the newly elected president of the CCL, is Super Day. Yes, it's a super day because the ministers of the church have organized a program in which they will salute E. Melvin Porter. The program will take place at 3 p.m. at the Faith Memorial Church. These ministers want to make sure that the, that the world know and understand how much they have appreciated the services of E. Melvin Porter. To highlight, highlight the service, E. Melvin Porter will be installed as president of the NACP, and that's the senior branch. Yes, E. Melvin Porter will be installed as the president of the NACP along with Leslie Brown, the first vice president, Amanda Ellison, the second vice president, to Bertha Rainey, the third vice president. It will be like a homecoming for Mrs. Era Holmes, who will be as a secretary of the NACP. Willard Moore, the undisputed treasurer of the NACP, was re-elected without any uh, opposition. The NACP's officers will be installed tomorrow during that 3 p.m. faith memorial service. Reverend Parker and other ministers are preparing a special salute to E. Melvin Porter. This is the Clara Looper Radio Show, and don't forget to be with me this evening at 5.15 p.m. place saves money gasoline, and time, all at Enterprise Square Place. Oh, what a deal. You will be glad that you went to 4901 North Martin Luther King Avenue. It's called Enterprise Square Place. It's first class, and you are safe at last at Enterprise Square Place. Listen what you can do. Pay your utility bills. Take advantage of a bona fide United States Post Office where you can mail letters, buy stamps, send out parcel posts, and along with that, and you can leave your clothes and come back the next day and pick up your clean clothes, all at Sherry's Cleaners. Now, those of you that want to do your laundry immediately, you can go to the laundromat. It's no secret. It's the cleanest laundromat in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. You may call 427-9302 if you are a senior citizen. And on Mondays and Thursdays, they will furnish free transportation for senior citizens between the hours of 7 a.m. and 7 and 11 a.m. That's all at Enterprise Square Place where you can save money and time at Enterprise Square Place. You will be glad you did at Enterprise Square Place. As we look at the snow, we know that we are very, very lucky to be in Oklahoma. Just think about the snow in some other parts of the world. Well, anyway, we have the snow, and now you can't say that you have not seen snow. Snow, 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 snow is everywhere, and we've been informed that some more snow and sleep are on the way. But what were we going to do? We are going to thank God for the snow. The snow, we know that the snow will eventually melt and the sun will shine. The Watkins Stevens Skyview Convalescent Nursing Home is at 2200 Cold Train Road. The telephone number is 427-1322. It's a clean home. It's a modern home for the sick and aged. They have 24 hours nursing service. Mrs. Betty R. Leach is the administrator. Mrs. Estella Bug is a director of nursing. They have a hot food 
court. And certainly, that's something that you need on days like these. That's at Watkins Stevens Skyview Convalescent Nursing Home, 2200 Cold Drive in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Are you ready for the most exciting experiences in your clothes buying life? Then go to the place at 3407 North of Villa. The telephone number is 946-7362, but I want you to go to 3407 North Villa, and you will come out as a well-dressed lady at a price that you can afford. Go to the place. Now, I want to make sure you understand the name. The name is the place, 3407 North Villa here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. That will be a big wedding this evening in Oklahoma City. Your county commission. Shirley Dare will be married to a well-known doctor from Los Angeles, California this evening at exactly 6 p.m. That's your county commissioner, Shirley, Shirley Dare will be married this evening at 6 p.m. And those of us at KBYE would like to join in wishing for Shirley Dare a lot of happiness as she takes on uh, the responsibility of a wife. And now her eels will be taken care of. She'll be married to a doctor. She will have her own personal doctor. Good luck, Shirley Dale, and may you have years of happiness. If you want to play bingo, go to the Economy Bingo House, 3613 North Elford Street, here in Oklahoma City. at the Economy Bingo House. 3613 North Elfridge Street. You will be surprised at the prizes that are available at the Economy Bingo House. This house compares to any other bingo house in the state. Why don't you go make business count at 3613 North Elfridge Street here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Have you ever dreamed of having your own tailor-made suit? Oh, yes, you have. Then I want you to do me a favor. Call Sir Charles the Taylor, 733-7600. That's Sir Charles the Taylor, located at 6225 Southeast 15th Street, here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. When you think of a city like our city and cities all over the country where people have to put balls on their windows to keep these when you think of what's happening in our nation, is it that crime continues to grow as we continue to build churches, build families, and yet crime continues to grow? Why? We will be running a series on crime and what we can do. We've seen, we've tried in Oklahoma City, we've seen the Urban League with their No Crime Month, No Crime Sunday. We've seen other organizations trying, but why are we losing the game with crime? I would like to have you to write me at Fort Clara Looper, Post Office Box 11106, and give me your opinion. It's always great to go to Burger Brothers at 412. The telephone number is 232-7511, and they have groceries and meat for less. Every day we have low prices plus weekend specials, and here's Shelly with the weekend specials. They have pork steak for 99 cents a pound, pork roast for 99 cents a pound, family pack drumsticks for 78 cents a pound, turkey breaks two for 99 cents, and country style ribs $1.19 a pound. Uh, they, let, me, let me repeat those, Shelly, because those are really some bargains. Did you hear Shelly tell you that at Burger Brothers you can get pork steak for 99 cents, pork roast for 99 cents a pound? And those of you that love those drumsticks, you can get the family packed drumsticks for 78 cents a pound. I love turkey franks. And you can get two pounds for 99 cents. And those of you that want to stay in and enjoy the Super Bowl, you can get country-style ribs for $1.19 per pound. That's all at Burger Brothers, located at 412 South Harvey. When I think of Burger Brothers, I think of a family store. And certainly it's wonderful that you have the opportunity to go and your business is appreciated. 
You are more than a number of persons pushing a basket. You are certainly with your hometown people at Burger Brothers, 412 South Harvey, here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Has racism ended in America? How many of you on last week saw what was happening in Georgia? Georgia in the Confederacy. And today, as we are talking to you in Oklahoma, certainly our minds are with the brothers in foresight to you. Brothers that are proclaiming out loud the American dream of a place where men and women can live in dignity, regardless to the location of the community. Our prayers are with the people in Forsyth, Georgia. I know that in every church in Oklahoma, and in every, especially in the black churches, Martin Luther King would be remembered. We as a people must remember our history. We must remember it unless we put forth all our efforts to Luther King and not be caught up in a world of pretending that you are celebrating. We are going to lose that holiday. It was a sad day for our brothers in Arizona when they found out that Arizona would no longer celebrate Martin Luther King's birthday because of an executive order of the government. Unless we celebrate here in Oklahoma, plan celebrations, we need celebrations in our homes, in our schools, and in our churches. We are going to lose that day, and certainly I would like to salute those that celebrate. It was also a dark picture of the legislature. Most of those senators and representatives, according to the information that I have, did not stay for the services. How foolish can we be when those people that are our elected state leaders will not celebrate and join in a celebration with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. What a shame. We must get that message over. We must get it over without, uh, in words that this white community will truly understand, we are going to celebrate Martin Luther King's birthday. And we are going out to Nichols Hill, the village, and others, and ask, are they going by the law of the land, or are they not? Very very simple. Those of you that would like to be on that team, be sure and call us at 424-3949 here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. The people in Idabel were so pleased with Brother President until they want us to come back on March the 14th, 1987, and present to Brother President. I would like to also thank the students at Harden Middle School. Those students on last Friday saw Brother President enjoy it. I've had students to say, oh, Miss Luper, now I know exactly what's ha what happened before I didn't understand. Those of you that would like to show Brother President, all you would have to do is to call John Marshall High School, ask for Mr. Richard Garrett or Clara Luper, or call me at 424 3949. How can I say thank you to Calvin Luper, who was our projectionist in Midland, Texas, Idabel, and Texas County, Texas. But Calvin, wherever you are, I would like to say thanks. I would also like to ask that those of you that need a, an electrician, I'm talking about a good electrician, don't forget to call Bert Luper, and in calling Bert Luper, you will be calling Calvin Luper. The telephone number is 239-2678, and they will minister to your electrical needs. In Idabel, Oklahoma, on March 14th, we will be showing Brother President at the Idabel Improvement Center. That's at 1102 West Haskell Street in Idabel, Oklahoma. On January the 31st, Brother President will be shown in Wewoka, Oklahoma. Now, all we woke in the Wewoka area, I want you to get out and see Brother President, see Mr. Sylvester Moore for your ticket sets. Brother President, that will be presented in Wewoka, Oklahoma, 
on January the 31st, 1987, at exactly 7 p.m. Don't forget tomorrow at 3 p.m., the Faith Memorial Church will be the center of a salute to E. Melvin Court. Congratulations again to those of you that made it through the snow, and I want you to be extremely careful because you don't have the opportunity to walk in snow every day, and you A special hello to Mrs. Leola Ford, comes from Texas County, Texas, from her brother that lives there. And her brother extended all kinds of hospital acts to us while we were in Texas County, Texas. This is the Clara Luper Radio Show, and I want to remind you that those of you that are interested in your children participating in Miss Black Oklahoma, they can participate as pages or as exports. Now, those of you that are interested in your children participating as pages and exports, call Mrs. Cheryl Fowler, 276842. Those of you that would like to be contestants and this year, just so you are 18 and 87, you may participate up to the age of 25. Call me immediately at 424-3949 in order that you can get on the list. We have some good news for the participants this year because it looks like from the response that we are getting that this will be our great year. It's time now to talk uh, to stop and talk about Soul Bazaar 87. Soul Bazaar 87 will be home on the east side. We are coming home to the east side. I to thank Mr. George Singer, the owner of the Economy Bingo House, 3613 North Elfrey Street, for putting that big new air condition in there. And that was the only reason why we haven't been there all the time. So we are coming home. Home to the Economy Bingo House for Soul Bazaar 87. The first uh, person that is called is HTB, that great architectural firm, who says, we will be with you at the Economy Bingo House, 3613 North Elfrid Street. The second call came in with someone that's been with us since we started some 18, 18 years ago, and that's OGN. You will be with us at the Economy Bingo House for Soul Bazaar 87. And that will be April the 3rd, the 4th, and the 5th. Those of you that would like to model in the fashion show, those of you that would like to participate in a baby contest, the cook contest, those of you that would like to be a part of an east side business that keeps on moving, who would have thought we would have still been in business after 18 years? Well, we have survived because of you. You have been interested in us. You have been there encouraging us, pushing us on and we do appreciate it. Certainly, we want to thank you in advance for your Soul Bazaar 87. We can hardly wait. That's April 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Be sure and put it on your calendar. As we talk about the future, we are going to do a very special this evening on a presiding elder that a city say goodbye to and that's presiding Elder Holt on our 515 program. We will also be telling you about the film services of a young lady that graduated from Dungey High School and lived well. And that's Stephanie. We will be telling you more about that come 515. And don't forget the Clara Luber Radio Show every Saturday from 2.30 to 3, and 5.15 to 5.45. And if anybody asks you what are you doing on Saturday, be sure and remind them that you are listening to the Clara Looper Radio Show. Those of you that have special announcements that you would like for us to make, all you would have to do is to contact us at 424-3949. Now, we've had some strange cases in Oklahoma City this past week, and we will be telling some of those cases. Clara Luper, radio show, KBYE, in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I would like to encourage you to be with me this evening at 515. I have something very special for you. In the meantime, this is Clara Luper saying to you, wherever you are, take care of yourself. 
Thank God for the snow. And remember, I do love you. Be sweet. Bye-bye.